<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video I'm going to be showing you all how you can take original PlayStation games you might have backed up, which could be in bin queue format, but have multiple bin files such as this, so multi-track files which have been separated out, and how we can combine them together pretty easily. So for this example, I've actually backed up my copy of Dave Mira Freestyle BMX using the redump disk dumping tool, which ends up dumping into bin queue format, but it does the bins, as you can see, into multiple bin files. However, there might be a lot of methods out there if you want to play an original PlayStation game that might require a single bin file. One of the examples could be if you're going to be playing a PlayStation game that you're going to be converting to work on a PSP or a PS Vita through the ePSP using Adrenaline. In order to convert that, you really need to have your game in a single bin queue format. If you have multiple bin files, you're going to be missing in-game music when you convert that over. So for this, it's pretty simple here. Of course, we're going to need an example game. Mine has already been split out and is Dave Mira Freestyle BMX. And we're going to need a little application called CD Mage. The link for CD Mage will be down below in the description. This is a Windows tool and if you come down here, I would recommend you get the 1.02.1 .1 beta version. That's going to be the latest version available. When you download the EXE, it's going to be a self-extracting EXE file. So we can double click this, for example, and it's going to bring us to this screen, which we can extract it somewhere. Just extract this anywhere you can easily find it. I'm extracting this to my desktop, so I'm going to hit unzip. OK, close out here. And it's going to give us a cdmage.exe file, which we can open up. Now, this is how the tool looks, and it's quite simple to use. Click on File, go to Open, and we need to locate where our game is. So again, we're going to have a multi-bin, like multi-track game here. And you want to grab the Q file. So get the Q sheet, click on Open, and it should load up a little something like that. Now, we don't need to touch anything here. We're just going to save a new copy of this. So for this, we can go to File, Save As. And for this, I'd recommend you make a new folder in here, and you can call it something like Combined or Single Track, just something like that, whatever works. But go ahead, save it here. Now here, make sure your settings are matching. You shouldn't need to tweak anything, but in case you do, it's just Mode 2 slash 2352. Press OK. And as you can see right there, we just need to spend a few seconds resaving it. And we're done. So we can exit out of this. Now if we go over to our folder, we're going to have our original copy of the game right here. But we'll also have a new copy of the game. And as you can see, both tracks have been combined into a single bin. So now this would be ready to convert on something such as PSX to PSP or use any other tool or emulator which requires a bin Q PS1 game to be a single bin file as opposed to a multi-track bin Q rip. So there we go, that's about it. There's not all too much to it, it's pretty simple to use. And I've been asked about this a few times in PlayStation related tutorials that I've had on here, so I figured I'd just throw up this quick little tutorial showing how to do it. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too.